Hello, and welcome to another episode of PC Building Simulator. Hope everyone is having a wonderful Tuesday. I'm going to pre-apologize if you hear any construction noise in the background of this video. They are doing construction right outside my condo, so you may occasionally hear a loud noise from that. Other than that, let's hop into our email here and see what we have going on for today. This first email says, Captain's Log Stardate 1701.333 Recurring. There may still be hope for the people of Placidius. Mr. Nemo has discovered a previously unnoticed satellite orbiting the planet. Readings indicate it may be artificial. We don't yet know exactly what it is or who put it there, but it's absorbing energy from the planet's surface and directing it outwards. It's this energy which has been affecting my crew and the visiting ambassador making them violently aggressive. We must find out more about the satellite. I have requested a new research computer with which, which Mr. Nemo can analyze the data. This is key to our mission. If we can't stop fighting amongst ourselves, we will never save the Placidian people from the terrible destruction that awaits. Captain J. Dirk. So, Captain Dirk needs a computer to get a 3D Mark score of 7,000 with an AO water cooler. Let's accept that one. Next email here says, I hear you work with computers. My PC is broken. I'm sure someone like you can work out what's wrong. Who knew that RAM had to go in one way around? Have you got any ideas what might be wrong? If you can, I'd love some braided red cables in there. My kid's been using it, and I'm getting some weird pop-ups. Well, your kid needs to stop looking at the porn. So, let's go ahead and accept that one. I'm going to try to remember to put the braided red cables in there, but I consistently forget to do that. All right, so the last one for today says, Hello, could you repair my rig? Whatever's broken, you'll need to have a look at it to work out what's happened keeps crashing, and if I touch the case while it's turned on, I get a elec little electric shock. It's the PSU, right? Is tomorrow a reasonable deadline? I heard you guys put used parts in PCs. Please don't do that. I was on PC Bay the other day and saw some awesome braided purple cables. So great, I've got two PCs that need different color cables. I'm probably going to forget them both, but I'm going to do my best not to. So let's go ahead and accept that one. All right, so we need to get a build put together to get a 3D Mark score of 7,000. So I'm going to step away for just a moment, get a build put together for this, and I will be right back. All right, so for this build, we're going to go with the Asus ROG Strix X399E gaming motherboard, a AMD Ryzen Threadripper 1950X, a Kraken X62, four sticks of G Skill Sniper X in black, 8 gig, 3600 megahertz, an MSI GTX 1080 Gaming X Plus, an A Data, uh, I think it was 480 gig M.2 drive, a 4 terabyte Seagate Barracuda, an EVGA 550 watt power supply, and we're going to put that in the Lian Lee Lancool 1 digital in white. So let's go ahead and order all of this stuff for next day delivery. Let's go end our day so we can get in the repairs and all of our parts. And we can get to work. Okay. Let's get these things up on workbenches. So we can get started. And this should be the case for our build. I'm going to go ahead and grab the sticky note and put it over here. Whoa, that's some crazy colors going on in there with the purple and the orange. But let's come over to this one. Let's go ahead and take the side panel off. Let's see if it powers on. See if we get anything. No RAM. Man, that is a huge freaking air cooler on that thing. All right. Let's get this cooler. Whoop. Guess that was the RAM clip, not the cooler 
wire. Let's get this stick of RAM out. Let's see what it is. Broken. It's A data. XPG Z1. Like, I'll remember that. All right. Let's go place an order for A data. Oh, it's right here. Let's see. I think it was the 4,000 megahertz. Let's order one of those. Let's see if we can find out what's wrong with this before I place the order. See if this thing powers on. Nothing. All right. Well, let's get the side off of here. Let's get these hideous purple cables. Well, they're not hideous, but they don't go with this build very well, I don't think. Let's get these unplugged. I'm going to unplug everything because we're supposed to change... The color cable, so let's just get them all out of there. Let's pull this power supply. See what it is. A broken 450 watt EVGA power supply, so let's order one of those. Oh, I feel like I'm down on the... There we go. Felt like I was down on the floor below the bench. Alright. Power supply. 450 watt B3 let's go ahead and order this stuff hopefully there's nothing else broken on these PCs to where I have to spend another hundred bucks to order parts have them delivered the same day man do I want to put this stick of RAM back in that same slot um like Part of me wants to put it way out here, away from that humongous air cooler. Let's get rid of that broken one. Let's get this installed. Let's get some thermal paste back on the CPU. Let's get the, what am I looking for? CPU cooler. This huge be quiet thing. hitting the RAM? I can't tell. Let's plug that in. Let me go look at the email for Strict Mate. Let's see here. They wanted braided red cables. So let's remove all the cabling here. Let's take this side panel off. Let's unplug everything that's white. There's not much we can do about the other cables. We can at least cable it with braided red. Ribbon plastic. Ribbon braided red cable. Is that it? Let's see if it powers on now. There we go. Uh, this may have viruses, so let's go ahead get our virus scanner on. And we'll take a look and see if there's a virus problem. I'd say there is 411 viruses. Let's clear those up. This should be good to go. Let's get the side panels put back on. And we can get this out in the hallway. Alright, let's take a look at this. Let's get the new power supply in. Let's get rid of that broken one. Let's get the PSU mount back on. There, now you can plug yourself in. All right, let's see what color cables they wanted for this one. Uh, awesome braided purple cables. Isn't that what was in there? Maybe it was plastic purple cables and they want braided. Still, 
I don't know if that goes with this orange, but you know, whatever. Whoops. Whatever they want. Let's see if I have braided purple. I have plastic plain purple. Ribbon braided plain purple. There we go. Let's get this cabled up. And let's see if it powers on. So I think that's all that needed to be done. Let's get, <clears throat> excuse me, let's get the side panels put on. And we can get this one out in the hall. I'd fix their colors, but I don't think they really care because their color palette's just crazy in this PC. All right. Let's move on to our build here. This might be... This might be the first build I'm doing with a thread ripper. Let's get all these parts off here. Let's get our motherboard in. It's humongous EATX board. Let's open up four of these. So we're going to be installing RAM on just the one side there. Let's get our CPU in. It's a big old thread ripper. Close that up. Let's get our RAM installed. Uh, if it's this PC. Man, that RAM blends really nice with the motherboard, I think. Okay. Let's get our storage in. And then we've also got a 4 terabyte hard drive going back here. Get some thermal paste. It's a big old blob of thermal paste. Our thermal paste on there. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we will get our CPU cooler on. Will it not fit up in the top? Oh. All right. Let's take the front of this off. Get rid of this fan. I was hoping this would fit in the top. Oh, there's a little plate there. But the front's fine. Let's go ahead and put the dust filter back on. As well as the front panel. I don't think I'm going to put anything in the top, so let's put the top panel back on. We can go ahead and get our graphics card in. There's the MSI GTX 1080. Gaming X Plus. Whole lot of words. Get our power supply in. Hopefully, did all my math right and this power supply is powerful enough for everything that's in here. This doesn't even look like it fits the processor properly. But they say it fits, so... Whatever. Uh, let's do... Maybe let's do some red cables. Not always the best at choosing colors, but hopefully... Hopefully this will look okay. Oh, let's go ahead... Put a USB drive in it. We'll power it on. I'm going to hop into the BIOS. And make sure XMP is turned on. And that it's starting from the right drive, which it is. So we'll let that go ahead and install the operating system. And then we can get 3D Mark on here. 
and possibly let's see how our colors uh, let's get our lighting app on as well 3d mark all right let's start with lighting uh, we're just gonna make everything red Maybe except for that one thing that's white. There we go. Wow, I really kind of hate that. Maybe we'll make it white. Let's see how it looks white. That's a little bit better. Let's go with that. I'm going to get 3D Mark running. And as soon as I have a score, I will come right back. All right, so there you have it. 7850. We needed a score of 7000. We are good on that. Let's get our side panels put back on. We can get this put out in the hall. And we can go collect some money. Let's get this out in the hall here. Let's hop here and let's collect that one. And why do we only get four stars? I put in the braided red cables. Alright, whatever. Whatever game. And we'll collect the build we did. There we go. Got some new parts. And some daily deals. We're getting much closer to a level 24. I'm going to end this episode here. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And I will see you in the next episode.